On the next occasion you travel the Bakerloo, put your novel down, my friend, and take a look around. Bearded men in anoraks, A to Zs, haversacks, hundreds of Norwegians on the London underground. Ever since the moment when Plucky Leaf Erickson paddled up the Skagerrak, Reykjavik bound. Norsemen wielding battle axe, sleeping bags on their backs, plan their terrifying attacks miles around. Now Norwegians roam in packs, woolly hats, Union Jacks. Can you please sir, tell me where the doll is he'll be found? This is Portobello, no, no, I think Pimlico. Hundreds of Norwegians on the London underground. Their winter ends in May and then early June starts again. Gets a bit depressing then as Henrik Ibsen found. Ten to twelve the sun will rise, quarter past Betty buys. Brighter and much warmer on the London underground. Norway didn't want to be part of the EEC. And the kroner's getting even stronger than the pound. Thus from Norway's icy tracks they export gravel axe and hundreds of Norwegians to the London underground. Norway's population small, very few there at all. Some in desperation left like lemmings and were drowned. Some went mad like Edward Munk off his head out to lunch. Most of them sold solace on the London underground. Sweden has its swinging chicks, Abba songs, Burton fix, Volvers and Sopranos are justly renowned. Rest of Scandinavia tends to be Arabia, even Lapland now has got America round. But a nice Norwegian horde leaves them cold, leaves them bored, no one gave a roar when they had King Harold crowned. Even Paul Edward Bree, people say, secondly, people say his songs go on around, 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 around. Hundreds of Norwegians on the London underground. Hundreds of Norwegians on the London underground. Put your novel down once more, leave the train, mind the door, and don't forget, Pierre Gint, my friend, his message is profound. Darkness leads to wanderlust, that's why Norwegians must roam for all eternity, the London underground. Mind the gap.